Hello everybody. Please let me know if sound is on and you can hear me. Let me do one thing. Let me know if you can hear me. Do have the sound on and I see the microphones on. Okay, there we go. Hey, Crafty, thank you very much. Wow, 90 degrees. Wow, that's, that's a little warm, but yeah. It's a very nice day here. It's a little windy, but you know, I'll take it. So I should be able to work with the puppies outside today, which I'm pretty excited about. So I just wanted to give you a brief update on the training. Um, I've been reading some of the other trainers' notes, and when they have the dogs out, you know, out training off property, I've noticed they're starting to introduce some new things to them. Um, one of them is uh, bracing, like if they go down a stair, they tell the dog to brace, and uh, they'll have the, you know, the dog go down first and then brace on the dog and go down the stair because a lot of the recipients rely on the dogs um, when, they're, when they're using the stairs. I also uh, read that John is, um, is uh, oh God, I just lost my train of thought. Okay, hold on. Um, He is practicing, that's what it is, he is practicing uh, uh, like fake falls and, and making sure the dogs will uh, be there to support him if he falls or if he does, you know, like simulate a fall and go to the ground, having the dogs come right over to him and brace and help him get up. So, uh, yeah, they're moving along in their training. Uh, I think that's a very good sign. It means they're, all the past things that they've been working on, they're doing very well, so they're starting to give them new things. Uh, last week, uh, I was working with them out here. We had a couple nice days, and um, doing the same type of thing, just reinforcing the commands, uh, making them walk with me so they don't walk ahead of me or they don't sniff the ground, taking them over to the picnic table, having them go under my legs as I'm sitting down, as many uh, 
recipients will have the dogs do. Um, also working on their backups. I make sure I have something. I have myself, the dog, and something on the other side. And uh, I just have them back up. I just give them a little sign to back up. And I got to say, last week they, they've all improved. Um, I think Jet was the most improved with the backups last week. When I took her out, I think it was Friday, um, before she was like all over the place. She didn't want to back up or she would go sideways and, you know, her bum would end up like in back of my legs and almost trip me up as we were going back. But on Thursday, when I worked with, or Friday, sorry, when I worked with her out there, she backed up in, in a straight line. She was, yeah, she was awesome. So I uh, have to give Jet the, uh, the dog of the week last week, uh, much improved. But, um, yeah, and then I, I have a funny story for you. I think you guys will appreciate this. So, Friday... I worked with Banks, and you know, we went through our routine and everything, and you know, I put him back, and then I came in on Saturday, and usually I don't work back to back with the dogs, because I like to get all of them, I like to work with all of them, so if I worked one, one the previous day, I usually don't work with the same dog the next day. Well. Mr. Banks saw me with the leash while he was in his kennel and he was just absolutely going crazy howling at me uh, making all sorts of noises like me 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 it was just like a little kid it was so funny I ended up taking him out again just just because I mean that that was just too cute in my opinion so uh, I took him out, and he did great. He's uh, one of the superstars, and um, he, you don't even have to give him the signal to back up. You tell him to back up, and he just, just starts backing up. It's amazing. And with his walking, he's got gotten so much better. He stays right with me. I don't even have to put any... Uh, you know, uh, tension on the leash, or he's just right there with me. So uh, he, he's doing really well. Um, let's see, what else do I have for you? But this week is, well, the next few days is supposed to be really warm, so we're hoping to get the dogs out. Uh, I think tomorrow, Diane and I will be taking uh, a bunch of dogs to the... Um, Topsfield Fairgrounds and just walking them at, you know, maybe taking two at a time, just getting them used to being in the same space together um, and just walking around and having them do some downstays and just uh, getting used to traffic over there. But uh, yeah, that's the recap I have from last week and for this week and uh i guess i'll be back tomorrow with jiving with jamie but probably diane because jamie's on vacation anyways thank you for watching and uh we'll see you tomorrow take care